keeping our finger on the pulse of America with some new polls and some new uh, talking to folks out there, which is what Frank Luntz is so great at. He's the president of The Word Doctors. He's also the author of What Americans Really Want, Really. Uh, and Frank joins me now. Good to see you, Frank, as always. Uh, you know, the, the first uh, piece of video that we're going to look at uh, has to do with one of the, an interesting campaign ad because it's really the first one that we've seen that tries to tap into this mosque issue. And you're going to tell us to, to what effect with voters. And it's interesting because it's Florida. It's Rick Scott. It's more than a thousand miles away from ground zero. And yet Scott saw this as an opportunity because Florida is a high percentage of Jewish voters. So he figured that he would kill two birds with one stone, appeal to the conservatives in the upcoming primary, and try to reach out to Jewish voters who are primarily independent and registered Democrat. Let's take a look at the dial scores. Remember, the red line represents Republicans, the green line represents Democrats. The higher the lines climb, the more favorable the reaction. Let's take a look. Barack Obama says building the mosque at ground zero is about tolerance. He's wrong. It's about truth. The truth, Muslim fanatics murdered thousands of innocent Americans on 9-11. Just yards from the proposed mosque. The truth, the leader of the ground zero mosque refuses to admit that Muslim extremists use terror tactics. The truth, the fight against terrorism isn't over. Mr. President, Ground Zero is the wrong place for a mosque. Absolutely off the charts among Republicans, one of the most effective ads. Not nearly as good among Democrats. They don't want to hear the issue because, quite frankly, they're embarrassed about it. Now, it wasn't just Scott that's been running ads. His primary opponent, Bill McCollum, has got an ad campaign out, and he's taking on Rick Scott. This is one of the more negative ads in the Florida race. Let's take a look. And as CEO, I take responsibility and learn from it. Rick Scott, let's get real. While your hospitals were profiting from abortions, I voted 100% pro-life. You cashed in helping illegals send American dollars to Mexico. I led the conservative fight to secure our borders and against amnesty. And while you pocketed $300 million by ripping off taxpayers, as Attorney General, I recovered record millions from Medicaid fraud. You put profit over principle, and that's wrong. The Democrats hate watching Republicans argue amongst each other. And in fact, what we have found in previous Fox News sessions is that the advertising from Alex Sink the Democratic candidate for governor has actually been better than the two Republicans. She's had the opportunity to be positive. She's been focused against uh, uh, special interests and, and lobbyists. The Florida governor's race is one of the hottest in America, and it's got some of the most interesting ads. Yeah, it, it sure does. Uh, and you got some interesting reaction from folks in your, in your focus group that you were talking to. It's been very tough to keep them calm, to keep them focused. We asked them about the economy because, let's face it, as much as people are angry about the mosque, what they're really focused on are jobs and ways for Washington spending. Let's hear what the American people have to say when it comes to setting the economic priorities for America. Right now, this diversionary tactic about the, the mosque and everything, no one's talking about it. Who'd you vote for in 2008? I voted for Obama. Is he talking about jobs? Uh, not as much as I would like, but, you know, this goes back to uh, the, the administration before him in the last 30 years, I think. I think they're all discussing jobs, but they uh, have no real plan to change or fix anything at all. So we're just very disappointed in all of them. The ads that we've seen, it seems like all of the candidates are talking about bringing back these manufacturing jobs. And we have to be realistic. They're not coming back to America. Every single one, Democrat or Republican, they all say, I'm going to create jobs. But no one says how they're going to do it, what they're going to do. So you don't believe them. And that's what's clear about all of this. Nobody believes anyone. And let me make an offer for the people who are watching. Grab a pen. If you go to theworddoctors.com, again, theworddoctors.com, you too can participate in one of these groups. Use one of the patented Fox News dials, rating some of the ads, and participate in one of these focus groups. Yeah, it's always fascinating uh, to hear what, what uh, people are saying about it. Clearly, you can just the, the frustration is just palpable uh, in that room, and we're going to see how that plays out. Come November, it, Frank, thank you very much. Good to see you, Frank. It's a pleasure. Thank Frank you. Glenn. All right.